All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushua Ba'ashem Rakakadash, and that's the true Hebrew names of our heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, and the Lash Wan Kadash, the, the Holy Tongue, the Paleo Hebrew. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls the Most High God or Heavenly Father, and Yahweh means He is, He is to be, He exists. Ba'ashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And Yahweh Shai means he is the Savior, he is the Deliverer. Uh, Bahashim in the name, Rakah Kadash is the Holy Spirit. We want to give a double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught us this truth. And peace and salutations to you, Akim, to you brothers that's pushing this word throughout the four corners abroad with truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Akim Wa Athwats. Peace and blessings to the brothers and sisters that may be tuning in, studying, and learning under the vibration of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. We're two brothers out of the GMS Boston camp back with a quick lesson through the spirit. I'm the brother Taz of War. And uh, as we have here, our article. Uh, from RT, and again, when, when when we see these articles and it's talking about uh, democracy, talking about uh, potential purge and uproars and seditions, these are signs of the decline and the, the destruction or the downfall of Babylon the Great, according to the scriptures, which is America. You know, we're here prophesying the spirit through uh, through the Lord. The Lord gave us His His words. Uh, gave us his, uh, uh, he put his words in our mouths, and we're prophesying the downfall of this uh, society, this the downfall of this uh, kingdom, which is America, and ultimately it's, it's ran by Esau Edom, which is the so-called white man, uh, according to the Bible, he's on earth ruling right now, and before our Lord comes back and set up the, the children of Israel to be the, the real true rulers of the earth, there's going to be a removal of power and, and, and a dismissal of the throne, let's say. And Esau is going to be the last one ruling prior. And we know before we have that great kingdom on earth, there's going to be tribulation that must come. The destruction of Babylon is on its way and we're here to report on it. You know, the Lord set us to be watchmen, you know, and we have to report the news and, and, and the prophecies and the word of the Most High into the, the, the whole world and to the nation of Israel to get them prepared spiritually and mentally for the coming of our Lord and the uh, uh, trouble that the Lord's going to bring on the earth, man. So I don't know if you got anything real quick. You want to start? Uh, you got anything? I got some. All right, come. So Second Nazareth chapter 6, uh, verse, uh, verse, uh, also verse 7. All right. Uh, second Ezra chapter six verse seven, and it says, uh, <clears throat> "Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times, or when shall be the end of the first, and the beginning of it that followeth?" Right. He said unto me, "From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau born of him, <clears throat> Jacob's hand, so like uh, Jacob's hand, held first the heel of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows." See, so this is the 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 clue that knowing that before. Uh, our Lord comes, Esau is going to be the last heathen nation that's going to be in rule. And then uh, uh, Jacob is going to be the beginning of it. You know, uh, when you go back to Genesis, the 25th chapter, and I think the, the 27th chapter, it goes back to the story of Jacob and Esau were, uh, being born. And Jacob's uh, holding his hand, holding on the heel of Esau is a symbol of Esau being brought down through Jacob. And the king of Jacob or the main, the, yeah, the Malak of Jacob is is Yahweh Shah, you know, and this is this is a a, a timeline. These are the clues that uh, it's going to be a transitional power, man. Uh, Jacob is going to be ruling forever and ever, and Esau is going to be brought down, man. His world, and again, we say the end of the world is coming. It's not the end of all earth, because earth was uh, abide forever, as according to Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, the first chapter. But this world is is a rulership. It's a heaven. It's a, uh, 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 their, their rulership is going to be brought down and we are right now in the midst of it. Huh? So when we go into this article, uh, it's from RT. The headline reads, number of Americans worried about future of U.S. democracy revealed. You know, and this is, you know, when you go into democracy, it, it, it's supposed to be uh, ran by the people itself. You know, the, the, the laws, the, the, the judgments, the, the. The, the rules, you know, they're supposed to vote and, and the, the, the citizens are supposed to make the decision on how 
the world is supposed to be run through their uh, government, you know. But ultimately, we know this is a, a, a hegemony, let's say. These these these, these uh, government, which actually means mind control, they don't give a fuck about the people. They don't care about your freedom. They're here to uh, uh, push their agendas, and you don't get down, you're going to lay down, man. <clears throat> if I may, I know we're crazy, because uh, that's illusion, because America has never been a... America has never been a, a democratic society. It's only been a, a plutocratic society of society rich by the uh, ruled by the rich and powerful, man, mm -hmm. by the <clears throat> by the wealthy baking families, man. But they give the people the illusion that they have a voice in the system. That they have some type of freedom, you know. You, know, yeah. you, you have you, you, they give you the, the illusion that you you can vote for who you are. Meanwhile, in the back in the backstage, they are the one choosing who's gonna be the next the next president who's that's gonna right. be the next uh, uh 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 secretary of state you know what i'm saying yep. so that's the illusion that they they give the people and the people are swallowing swallowing it man that's they're right. swallowing it up man and but, yeah kind they're not regarding <clears throat> your 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 thoughts your you know your 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 ideas or opinions they're pushing again like their agenda and if you don't get with them or, 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 or abide by their rules and their agenda, you, you you're gonna lose your freedom. You're pretty much you're losing your your. You can be put to jail. You get fined. You know, uh, lose your job. So so on and so forth. So this is causing uproars, and and ultimately this is uh, uh, a prelude to uh, Jacob's trouble, man. Division, sedition among men, uproars in the people, insurrections. You know, yeah. and as you can see in this image. Hey man, you, it's, it looks like a, a Edomite holding on to the the original thirteen colony flag of America. How this, how the whole spirit of America pretty much got established through these thirteen uh, colonies. colonies, you know. And then you see a, a, a policeman, and, and hey man, they're taking away your freedom, man. And it, it's symbolic too, because like uh, as they get as they get putting down, right? You see the flag is still trying to uh, stand, stand up. up. That's right. That's that's in their spirit. They want America to be gone. They they don't want white supremacy to keep to keep it to to be eliminated, right? That's right. Because uh, <clears throat> in order for white supremacy to wall, we gotta be at the bottom. That's no, right. they, they 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 take pleasure and see us down. They have they understand perfectly. In order for them to have the uh, way of life keep going, we gotta be in a detrimental state. We have to be the one that they shit on. But yeah, how about Shima Shah is um. Uh, like we just read on uh, second Ezra six verse seven, yeah. there's a paradigm shift, a changing in the God. The Lord That's is right. uh, brought, the Lord is bringing down these nations, the Edomites, and at the same time is building up the house of David. You know. That's right. Come real <clears throat> quick, because since you said that, uh, Ecclesiasticus <clears throat> chapter ten, verse four. Matter of fact, come to the top. We are right, come. The top. Come. Ecclesiasticus ten verse one. A wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. Yeah, a wise judge will instruct his people. And when you go back to history, right, when uh, 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 King Solomon was ruling, right, it, it, uh, history tells you that we were well off. We we all we were all dwelling in the, in the under under our tent, you know. We have everything that we had. It was, peace. A, a, it was peaceful. It was 40 yeah. years of peace, you know. The the whole nation of our people we were well off, man. That's right. You know, that's what that's what a wise judge will do. A wise judge will look at the 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 benefits for his entire nation, you know. That's right. And the reason why everything's is going wrong and there's so much uh bad times, there's so much uh stress and uh, it, it's just um, agony, you know. It's so much tough times and hard times because you have a, a wicked judge. You have a the wicked bear rule, as according to what um, Proverbs twenty nine and two, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the uh, but the wicked bear rule, people mm -hmm. are mourning. That's why there's so many people struggling, so many people mourning in agony and grief. Is because the wicked bear rule, and that mm -hmm. kind of goes with the uh, 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 you know, an uh, unwise king. We're gonna get into that because mm -hmm. you got Esau's in power. You know, um, so we can go back to Ecclesiasticus 10, uh, as uh, verse two, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. Yeah, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. So, uh, uh you can know how the 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 the, the uh, people in charge are, are ruling to the the how the people underneath them behave, man. Yeah. You know, under Esau's rulership, everybody is catching hell. 
everybody is uh, 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 sick. You know, uh, uh, the whole earth is upside down, chaos everywhere, trash in the in the ocean, chemical in the air. You know, uh-huh. that, that's, people that's, are sick, people yeah, are dying, sick, yeah. dying. You know, that's 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 a uh, symbolic of Esau, man. You know, when you read First Maccabees one and seven, it's uh, when Alexander died, his four general took over over the over of culture over, right? And that's when wickedness was multiplying the earth. So right. when 2022, I don't know. How much more, you know, that's exactly why the scripture says uh, the sins have reached to heavens. So these devils, they have been pushing wickedness uh, since then. So right now, I mean, wickedness is, a, is at an all-time high. No? That's right. And this is why the uh, uh, Yahweh has a controversy with the whole world, but mainly here in America, man. Because there's no truth, no mercy, and no knowledge of the Most High. The uh, wickedness is reign supreme. Wickedness is the new norm. You know, and righteousness is frowned upon. It's looked as evil according, uh, uh, according to the eyes of many, you know, and this is why the world has gone upside down. It's in chaos right now, you know, and ultimately the judgment, the Lord says he's going to bring plagues upon the earth because um, because the uh, wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, you know. So this is part of the plagues, man, seeing destruction, seeing uh, uh, seditions. Uh, oligarchy type of uh, hegemony type of uh, rule, you know, it, it, this is part of the plagues the Lord is going to bring on the earth, man. Continuing on, verse three, as unwise an unwise king destroyeth his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. And that's exactly what it is. The Lord allowed these devils a time to walk just to show us what wickedness is. Just we can desire righteousness that's right. because. And under Esau's rulership, you know, the scripture says in Revelation 11 verse 18, destroy them which destroy the earth. So the earth is destroying. The earth is crying for no rulership or no management or no people in charge. That's and that's right. exactly why Yahweh tries to come and put these devils down and and, and, and rule the earth with his people. That's because right. everything going to be perfectly and harmoniously uh, set in, you know, the earth going to be rejoicing, the people are going to be rejoicing, you know, uh, are you going to have perfect, perfect uh, 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 harmony, uh, uh, just like it says in, uh, in uh, John 3 verse 16, you know, when you go to the world, well, a harmonious arrangement, or the government, so everything going to be order and order, in order, you know, yeah. Come on, verse 4, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. So the one that's profitable is Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai is the, is the foundation. And through Yahweh Shai, you're going to have uh, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, King David, the 12 apostles, the 144,000, and the, the, the one third, the mixed multitude. Mm -hmm. Those are going to be the governing body that's going to be ruling that's going to be uh, establishing, establishing the law, law order, Judgment, yeah. or perfect harmony. You yeah. know, everything going to be beautifully established, man. That's right. All right. Let me go and continue to this article. So, again, number of Americans worried about future of U.S. democracy revealed. Uh, temperature check on anniversary of Capitol riots suggests most believe the U.S. is in decline. A shocking 83 of registered American voters are at least somewhat worried about the future of democracy in the country, according to the new poll uh, conducted on the eve of the anniversary of last year's uh, Capitol riot. The vast majority of Americans of all political persuasions are very or somewhat worried about the future of democracy in the country, according to a survey published Tuesday by USA Today and Suffolk University. Yeah, America is losing her, her, her hegemony. Uh, her uh, uh, influence over the earth, man. Yeah. You know, these nations, Russia, Russia, what is Russia, North Korea, Japan, China, they can see America is falling off from the map, man. They can see that the, the economy of this place is going down. And that's mm-hmm. exactly why they're investing. China and their sick, twisted mind, they think they're going to be the next superpower, man. That's they right. think they're going to be the next one to war once America get out of the way. But the Lord Yahweh has has has, has another uh, program in plane, man. Con, and you mentioned these other nations see the downfall of America, but now it's starting to become homegrown. It says 83, you know, Americans feeling that democracy is not right. So it's 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 imploding within itself. 
mm-hmm. you know, Amer- uh, uh, Americans are starting to be worried and have that confidence or that pride anymore that they're that the greatest nation on the earth. You know, they can never do wrong. The greatest military, you know, the greatest scientists, the greatest hospitals, all this is and that and so forth. And also mean the greatest government. You know, people are, are inside and here in America are starting to realize that their rulers is unwise and he's not fit to mm-hmm. be a, a, a ruler. Yeah. And they feeling that they can't be uh, the land, quote unquote, the land of the free. You know what I'm saying? They can't have freedom of speech anymore, yeah. right to bear arms. They are now being forced to, you have to take that uh, and prove you have the Vince Carter, you know what I'm saying? To even be allowed to work, to, to go into any establishments, um, to, uh, to go to any sports bars or, or food shopping or sporting events or gyms. Their, their, uh, their freedom's being taken away from them, but now they're raising a, 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 an eye. Like, what's going on, man? So they're not, ultimately, they're not confident because they feel that this place is, um, it, it's not going to ever heal again. Ever since, you know, COVID or Crown 19, a lot of Americans wanted to just go back to things being normal, but they're starting to see that, hey, this is is, 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 is happening to be the worst, worst thing to ever happen, man. Yeah, they're waking up the, from the American dream. That nightmare now. Because mm-hmm. in order for you to dream, you got to be asleep. So, hey, the Lord Yahweh Shemeshai is pulling up the veil from the eyes. They see, they now uh, actually seeing things for what they actually is, man. That's right. You know? And this is why they're taking matters in their own hands. This is why there's more riots, more protests, invasion. Like, again, last year, around this time, was the invasion of the Capitol, Capitol Hill. Hill. They call it the riot. And that was all Esau, uh, uh, Esau crime. Mm-hmm. Esau uh, raiding uh, Esau's buildings, man. You know what I mean? And this is just proves that this house is divided. Real quick, let me get that, uh, Matthew. Mm-hmm. And this is uh, again another implement of a uh, downfall of America, man. What's that? Uh, Matthew, Matthew 12, 12, 12 verse 22. Yep. I think. Matthew 12 and 25. And Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? You know, yeah. the house of Esau is being divided amongst himself, man. And like we always said, division is a tactic of war. Yeah. Before you're about to take up, uh, the Lord is a man of war, right? And uh, 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 division is, is a strategy. And, and before you take down a nation, the first thing that you do is divide them. That's that's what happened to us. That's how we felt as a nation. You know, after the the death of King Solomon, the kingdom was the split, right? Yeah. You know, and and, and and since then we was brought down. That's and right. And the same thing is happening to these devils. Now you see division within Esau, you know, the blue and the and the red, Republican, Democrats, the conservative, and the liberal, the right wing, the left wing. You know, you know. the Bible Belt versus versus the uh, the Bible Belt state versus the 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 um uh, liberal states. You know what I'm saying? Those who wants to get the Vanessa. You know, the Vince Carter and those who refused to get it, man. That's right. You know? And they and uh, the American model was united we stand, divided mm-hmm. we fall. So uh, Yahweh Shah is pretty much saying, hey, if you if it's Satan against kingdom, uh, Satan against Satan, how can this kingdom stand because it's divided? Hey, so he's pretty much saying this, this, this place is on soon to be uh, down and down and out, man. Mm-hmm. We're soon to see a downfall of this kingdom because every kingdom. Uh, that rose up to its dominance and was powerful in ancient world ultimately was brought down and it was brought down through the hands of the heavenly father but it imploded within itself uh there was division there was downfall of the uh, of the the, uh, the dollar or the coins at the time the Daenerys you know so th- these are signs that there's nothing new under the sun we're on the midst of uh of Babylon aka America on its way out man oh. Where did I leave off in the article? The, the Concern, vast majority right? of Americans. Yep, okay. The vast majority of Americans are of all political persuasions are very or somewhat worried about the future of democracy in the country, according to a survey published Tuesday by the USA Today and Suffolk University. Um, concern for the future of American democracy was even distributed across both parties with 82% of Democrats and 86% of Republicans expressions expressing worried about worry about the situation. Just 15% said that they were not worried or not at all worried about the future of American democracy. Well, if, if those 15% that's not worried are either 
in the uh, uh, loss in the sauce, or they uh, <laughs> us because we don't care. We mm. don't give a fuck about the down uh, of of the future of America. You know mm. what I'm saying? So mm. it's either those that are lost in the sauce that don't know what's happening that really thinks that America is gonna pull through, mm. you know, and, and get united and be healed, mm. or it's it's gonna be those that really don't care because we know. We in the know that hey, this place is about to be destroyed anyways, bro. Or the, or the elite, because they are the one bring your bring your bring forth, forth their agenda. You're right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, the majority of uh, res respondents' outlook regarding the future of democracy have also worsened over the pre uh, over the preceding four years, with 71% reporting American democracy had weakened and just 18% arguing it, it had gotten stronger. Only 6% said it had remained the same. A political outlook did predict Americans' viewpoint on how democracy had evolved during the four-year period, but even the majority of liberal respondents, 62%, agreed it had weakened, along with 84% of their conservative counterparts. The poll's results were even more, alar even more alarming than those from the NPR uh, Ip Ipsos poll released Monday, which found 64% percent of Americans believe U.S. democracy was in crisis and at a risk of fulfilling, man. Yeah, every beginning has an end, man. That's right. It was, it was uh, uh, destined to come over here, took down Gad, and build up America. You know, also Malachi went in for this show, built, I'll uh, throw down. So mm -hmm. right now, we are witnessing them going down economically. Yep. So just like the Lord, uh, uh, before the Lord took down Egypt, what did what did the Lord do? The Lord sent a, a series of plagues to Egypt plagues, yeah. to, to destroy the, their economy. Yep. You know, and after that, you know, the uh, 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 Egypt never rise to power again. Yeah, and he's, he did that Salakit to show his power. So this is why he's rising up that big bad bully America that seemed like it will always be great. They seem like nobody will ever touch this nation. He's rising them up so we can bring them down to show and you can have the fear of your how about Shah. Yeah, yeah. Every dog has his day, man. What goes up must come down, man. And as the scripture says in Galatians, you're going to reap what you sow, man. You sowed out wickedness, you know. You're going to receive it on the, on the, on, on double, twofold, man. I got one real quick. Uh, Malachi 1 verse 4. Malachi 1 verse 4. Whereas Edom said, we are, imp we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the board of wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord had indignation forever. You know, whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, right? We will return. He said, they did return after the, the uh, what's call it called? The, the Dark Ages. The Dark Ages. The, no, when, it come, when they came back over here, uh, the, what they call the Renaissance. The Renaissance rebirth, era, yeah. Yep. The rebirth. Christopher after Columbus the Dark Ages, yeah. uh, came over here. Yep. They, they established, they took over the land. They took over the whole world. Pursuant to Job 9, verse 24. It was the time to war, man. Yep. They took over Canada. They took over Australia. They took over the Americas, North Central South, South Americas. They built it up, man. You know, but the Lord says gonna he's gonna tore down. Yep. So we are we are in a time where the Lord Yahweh is laying uh 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 is laying uh, uh pretty much the Lord is laying uh uh what's the word uh, the chest move yeah. all over all over all over all over the world because it's about to throw down this displacement that's right you know and that's exactly why you see these nations this nation is being divided more than ever man that's right you know you come that's right and it will never get back to how it was man a lot of people here in america are looking for uh hope any type of sign of healing or unity as the scripture says uh what's that jeremiah 50 over se verse 7 we would have held babylon yeah I got it right here. It's 51. 51 verse 7, I think. Yep. I'll read it first 6. Uh, Jeremiah 51 verse 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance, and he will render unto her a recompense. Yeah, flee out of, of, of her, meaning come out of her ways, her philosophy, her mindset, because it will destroy you. Because, uh, 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 you know, you have a certain Israelite group who wants to... Uh, 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 established established here. here in America. They wow. want to be an Israelite in America. They want to 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 found a niche in Israel system so that they can flourish. The Lord telling you to come out of it, man. That's right. This place is about to be destroyed. If you know this place is about to destroy, 
what benefits you to what what is the benefits you to to establish you to trying to hold on to this place man yeah. and you know how this place was established man this place was established on the certain tiers of our people yeah. you know what 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 does it gain you for uh for this place to keep going man yeah, if you are if you are in your best state of mind you should want this place to be destroyed man that's right but this is why two-thirds it's prophesied that two-thirds of our people got to be cut off and die man because they want to join him they're gonna join him with esau in, in this beast system man and try to hold on to that dirty whore man mm -hmm. you know that great whore babylon yeah. man kind of, and the scripture says in first john 2016 love not the world man this is esau's world man our world, our, our, our world is coming. Yahweh is coming to to give us a, 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 a the whole pie. Not a piece. You know, you have Jake here trying to get a piece of the pie. Meanwhile, the scripture says the earth was made for our sake. This, yeah. this is our earth. This is our planet, man. So we we waited for Yahweh to set us up, man, to That's establish right. us, man. That's right. And as we read, I think it was the first scripture. Esau is the end of the world. Mm -hmm. and, and who? Who's been given the whole world to rule is Esau so far, as in Job 9 and 24. So, you know, if you're thinking that you're going to, uh, uh, like the brother mentioned, you're going to find a niche, get your own little pocket and and, and and try to establish your own kingdom here in America, you're sadly mistaken and you're, and you're delusional, man. You know, you don't fear the Lord and you don't have no understanding of the scriptures, man. And this is to those Israelites that think that it's okay to, you know, start a, a Israelite community and whether it's in a, 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 a Atlanta or whatever, it's in America, man. As long as Esau is in power, you are going to have to be his slave, man. Mm -hmm. And the, the whole purpose of Yahweh Shai coming back is to uh, uh, remove the, the the chains and the uh, 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 the slave uh, 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 mentality from us, from out of Esau, man, and 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 make us kings again, man. Mm. You know, through righteousness, man. Because the scripture says, uh, you can't have two masters. Mm. Either you hit one and love the other. That's so right. our people, they are siding with the enemy, man. They, Esau is a masters, man, and they want Esau to get going. They want Esau to get going. They have no problem of Esau ruling over them. So the Lord says, um. Uh, that he uh, that the remnant shall no longer stay on them that's not them that's but right. they shall rely on the holy one of israel and truth man so we don't want these devils to rule over us we are the one we must want to be the one who has the power to put these devils in slavery to have a chain to have the ch uh, chain around the next man to that's do right. to them what they have done to us man that's because right. that's fair man you know that's right uh, verse 7, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken over wine, therefore the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm of her pain. If so be, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go every one into his own country, for her judgment reacheth into heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Bro. Yeah, we have Jake trying to heal this place, man. They want America to keep going because they can't see themselves rolling without the so-called white men. You know, the scripture says that we would have held Babylon, but she can't be held. This place was giving a, a, a dispensation of time to be existed. And right now we are witnessing this devil's going down. You know, Job 14 verse 5, or quick, Job 14 verse 5, Job 14 verse 5 says, uh, Seeing his days are determined, mm -hmm. the number of his months are with thee, thou has appointed his bound that it cannot pass. So Esau has a time selling, man. Esau has a, a limit to his uh, worship, man. And we are, uh, the, every day that goes by is one the closer we are to these devils going down, and they can do nothing about it, man. That's right. Because that's prophecy, man. That's right. Real quick, we'll go right back to, um, we'll finish it off with this, right back to Ecclesiasticus, back to 10, and uh, jump down to verse 8. Uh, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Hey, and like uh, the smudge, the, the the track record of Esau, Esau, uh, Esau Edom, how he got in power, hey, hey he fits the T. Unrighteous dealings, itch, uh, injuries, riches got by deceit, killing, unlawfully murdering. You know, raping, pillaging, you know, now this is the reason why this that transition of power, man. The Lord ha it has a perfect balance. He let wickedness and evil rule, but now he's going to show his power and remove that 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 uh, uh, the evil from power and set up the true kingdom. And which is according to Daniel, that should rule forever and ever that heaven, man. You know, and this is why the Lord is bringing uh, judgment upon Esau Edom because ultimately he done all these type of wickedness without receiving a judgment yet. You know what I'm saying? He is guilty from since since Cain. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So now he's going to have to receive double, man. And the Lord is going to judge her, man. Oh, oh. Anything? Oh. Con, so with that, man, we pray everything was edifying. We want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh by Hashem, Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught us this truth. And peace and salutations to the Bayaf Dawadah. That's the house of David, the elect. Until next time, we want to say, I don't want to which we Lord willing. Shalom. Shalom.